Hello, my name is RD and we are going to solve problem 42 from this chapter 8 from Boyle State Book. So the question is write the nodal equation using ge the general approach for the network in figure 8.133. We find the nodal voltages using determinants and C using the result of part B calculate the current through the 20 ohm resistor. Okay, maybe let's let's do some analysis here. This is our ground here. The voltage will be zero on this node here. Good. Now let's move on. Let's label this node here as V1. And let's label this node here as V2. Okay. However, this is 44 volt more than V2. So here we will have V2 plus 54 in this middle node here okay and now let's assume the direction of the current let this go down let this also go down because the current source says so and then let's this goes to the right here and this is going down and this is going down so what we need to do is we are doing KCL at V1 and KCL at V2. Let's do exactly that for the question A. Let's do KCL at node V1. KCL said that the sum of the current that goes in will equal to the sum of the current that goes out. Okay, that's good. And there is no current that goes in here, so we can just put zero on the left hand side. And all the other currents is going out, and this current here is V1 minus zero divided by eight. So I will have V1 over eight, and then plus this current here is 10 ampere, so I will have 10, and then plus V1 here minus V2 plus 54, okay, so I will have V2 plus 54, and that is divided by the resistance between them, which is 6. Okay, that's good. And now to get rid of the denominator, I can multiply both sides by, by what? 24, I think. Okay, on the left hand side, it still be 0. And then 8 and 24 will cancel into 3, so I will have 3 V1. And then 10 multiplied by 24 is 214. And then 6 and 24 will cancel into 4, so I will have 4 V1 here. Minus 4 V2 plus 54. Okay, that is good. And then what can we do from here? I think we can add the add the V1 here. So I will have 0 is equal to 7 V1. And then plus 214 plus 4 V1. And then let's distribute this minus 4. So I will have minus 4 V2. Oh, no, no. This is V1 already added. So I will have minus 4 v2 and then minus what can we get from here 4 multiplied by 54 what is it 4 multiplied by 54 is 216 so i will have 216 here and okay now let's simplify this so i will have 7 v1 minus 4 v2 and then 240 minus 216. 240 minus 216. That will be 24. So I have plus 24 here. So we will have 7 V1 minus 4 V2 is equal to minus 24. Yeah, I think that's all. And let's save this for equation number 1. Okay, that's good. Now let's move on to the other nodes, which is V2. So I will have KCL 
add V2. Okay, let's write the KCL first. The sum of the current that goes in will equal to the sum of the current that goes out. The only current that goes in is this one. So I will have V1 minus V2 plus 54 divided by 6. Okay, that's good. That is the only current that goes in. And the other currents is going out. And so we will have V2 divided by 20. And then plus V2 divided by 5. Okay. I think we can add them up from here. So 1 over 20 divided by 5 is... 1 over 4, so I will have V0 or V2 over 4. I mean, V2 over 4. So I will have V2 over 4 here. Okay. Now we can multiply both sides by what? I think by 12. 12 is enough. Yeah, 12 is enough, I think. And this will equals to 2v1 and then minus 2 multiplied by v2 plus 54 and then that will equal to 3v2 good now let's distribute that so i will have 2v1 minus 2v2 minus 108 and that will equal to 3v2 so we will have 2v1 minus 2 minus 3 will be minus 5v2 and then 108 let's put it to the right hand side okay. so this is the equation number 2 yeah. okay so now we have two equation with two variables we should be able to solve this okay let's clean up the slide first okay so far we have two equation and two variables and this is for question b we need to solve this we are asked about using determinants you can use Kramer methods to solve it using determinants but why bother because we can just solve it using calculator okay now let's set up an equation solver is number 5 and two variables is number 1 and I will have 7 then minus 4 and then minus 24 okay that's good and then 2 then minus 5 and then 108 good and now I will have P1 here so v1 is equal to minus 20.444 the unit here will be 4 okay that's good and now what is v2 v2 will be minus 29.778 yeah and the unit here will be Okay, using the result of part B, calculate the current through the 20 ohm resistor. Okay, let's do exactly that. C, uh, so the, they ask about this current here. Let's name that I1. I1 is equal to V2 divided by 20. So we we'll have minus 29.7778 divided by 20. so what is i1 let's just put it into calculator okay is it minus 29.778 divided by 20. so i will have minus 1.489 minus 1.489 and the unit here will be ampere right so i think we have 
solve this problem thank you for watching see you in the next video bye bye